Hey everybody. All right, so I just got finished doing my hair, but um, I want to talk to um, talk to our mothers and our fathers that's raising young girls. It is so important, you guys, that we teach our young girls who they are. Make sure that we really not just speak words to them and tell them you're beautiful, you're important, you matter, um, that, their, that their life really means something, that they're worthy. Make sure that we as mothers and fathers that we teach our young girls this at early ages in life. And not just teach them, but be the example. Let your children see you, mom. Um, you know, if you're a wife, that you're loving your husband and taking care of the home. And if you have to go and work, that you're able to uh, do those things with integrity. And let them see that you have chosen a man that has character. You have chosen a man that doesn't abuse you. You have chosen a man that is a provider. And the same with single mothers. Let your children, let your girls see that uh, that just because you're a single mother doesn't mean that you're going to lower your standards. Let them see that you value who you are, the way you carry yourself, the way you speak, the people that you have around you, and so that your daughters, when they grow up and begin to make choices, when they begin to um, bring men into their lives that um, they won't bring men into their lives that serve them no purpose. Um, As as young girls between the ages of 18 and 25, it breaks my heart when I hear of young girls in relationships with men that are living with girlfriends. And they believe that these men love them. Now, I don't know if it's where you guys live. I'm sure it is. But we have young girls today beautiful young girls you know you can be beautiful on the outside but their hearts is depleted of beauty they don't know who they are and they don't know they worth we have the young women today you guys between the ages of 18 and 25 with no children got a great future ahead of them who have chosen to bring men in their lives who have children and who are living with their children's mother but tell them that they really want to be with them and these young girls believe these men these young girls are supporting these men and believing these men that already live with a woman that they really want to be with them that mindset has got to change you guys we should not have our young girls with standards or their worth, their value so depleted that they will refuse to allow themselves to be dated by a man that's living in the house with a woman and he tells her he's only living with her because she got his child. That's got to stop. We got to teach our young girls the, their value that they don't take their money and store up and save their money to begin to provide for a man that has no job, that has no future in sight. We've got to do whatever possible, whatever's necessary to help our young girls understand that your worth and your value and because of who you are as a female, we do not accept men with no jobs. We do not accept men who live in houses with girlfriends. We do not accept men who are married. We got to increase their worth, you guys. We got to show them their value. We got to teach our daughters their values so that men that come along to prey on our daughters, our nieces, our grandbabies won't be able to do it. Because as a child, we have already instilled in them their value and their worth. 
And they won't be misused and abused by somebody that has no value, no good intention for our girls. Now, y'all might think that I'm telling you some made-up story, but I'm not. We have young girls today who believe that men who are married, men who are living in the household with, because they, they made up this story, well, it's my baby's mama and I got to live with her. Young girls believe in that. We have young girls paying men's child support. We have young girls that's working and saving their money to buy a house so that they can move the man from out of one house into their house. We have young girls who feel like it's all right that I take care of a man or because of his situation. Maybe he's got in so much trouble that he can't even get a job. He's got in so much trouble that his name doesn't mean anything. Even at the young age of 25, you have men at age, between the ages of 18 and 25 who have already been to jail, prison, all kind of things. Got all kind of stuff going on. And then we as females, young girls, will step into that relationship as a young girl and, and believe that it's our responsibility to pull him out. I'm telling you, parents, aunties, uncles, friends, help your daughters, help your nieces, help your little cousins. Help these little girls realize that it's not their responsibility to be a savior for a man. That he is supposed to provide for them. He is supposed to care for them. God will not send you someone that you got to take care of. No. And my thing is, we got to show these young girls, somewhere in life they've been hurt. Somewhere in life they have missed their, missed the point of knowing their value and worth. Because when you know your value and worth, you will not accept those type of men in your life. And you won't feel guilty about it. Some women feel guilty because, well, I need to be understanding and help him in his situation. No, 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 no. That's his situation. Men don't rely on women to make their situation better. We're not the pr pr providers. We're not the caregivers. No. Men play that role. We as women don't. So I just want, I hope I'm, I have been clear because these situations exist in our communities where we have young girls educated with degrees who feel like it's their responsibility to save a man and build a man. And can you believe a woman really will believe that a man is living with another woman because he ain't got no choice or he'll use the children? No, baby. When a man loves you, he won't be, he won't be attached to anything. And then that leads to women being in conflict with one another. With one another. No woman is better than another woman. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't care if this man's wife ain't doing this or not doing that. And you might think you can do it better. No, you ain't got nothing to do with that. It's that man's character. You can't change his character. Who he is. So, please y'all. As parents, as good friends, aunties, cousins, whoever, help these young girls between the ages of 18, 25, they may even be some older. When you see them on a good path, no children, going to school, and you see that they got something going on here that's getting ready to derail their whole life, speak into their lives. Now, they might not take your advice, but my God, give them an opportunity to hear the truth and let them know, baby, you worth more than that. You're worth more than that. And help them to stop believing the lies of some men. Men that ain't going nowhere will prey on the low self-esteem of a young girl. So help our young girls get unbroken. At whatever age we meet them and we find broken, help them get unbroken. So that they can make healthy choices. 
when choosing someone that's going to lead them. Lead them. All right? You guys have a great night.